Hi, my name is Kerry Grayson. I'm designer of Bocho Ball, the fun family dexterity game for two to four players, although you can play with one. Uh, um, they're going to go ahead and do a demonstration of uh, one round of play, a game round uh, that consists of uh, shooting from zone one and shooting from zone two using the catapult. Catapult launches the bocho balls and they're trying to get it to land on a rail. The values of these rails are dependent on the die roll. So as you can see, uh, the red rail is worth two, the blue rail is worth two, the green rail is three, and the yellow rail is one. So you're trying to get the highest score possible uh, by landing on those rails. And the other way you're trying to complete a uh, score is by completing an objective card. And the objective cards, um, you have to get at least one of your colors on there, but you can use other player colors to complete an objective. Then once you complete, you go ahead and discard that card, and you get to draw a new one. And that you start the game with. So let's go ahead and give you back your card. Uh, so if he's aiming for the possibility of trying to score the dice or completing an objective. Um, so she's going to start. Uh, it's a good idea to try and have your rope facing up. It gives you a good spread on your bocha ball to catch a rail as you go through. And she's got to fire. Oh, now she missed. Now it's early in the game. She probably doesn't want to do it, but if she wanted to, she could cash in one of her three objective cards into the discard pile, but she would always forever have just two cards to use for completing objectives. So, Annabelle, you're up there. So you're going for the green one? It's for points. Good luck. Oh, you are so close. Now, if if she had been so fortunate as to have what we call a double wrap, where you have a uh, hanging over the rail ab uh, above another rail, then you get to choose which one that uh, you want to uh, score. Uh, but that didn't happen. But if she did, she probably would have chosen that. That green one, I'm guessing. So now Dad is aiming. Looks like he's going uh, to... Okay. Oh, oh, you know, you had it. But it just uh, fell right. off. Life happens. No, I don't think I'll spin the card this time. Okay, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Ooh, that helps me. No. <laughs> So now it's Annabelle. Let's try that again. Oh, you had it, and it went right me. down to the lower no. one. Yay. Does it help, Dad? Yeah, I got those both of those. Oh, yeah, now you just have to get. Yeah, need a little green. Green. Now you have to land on that to score it. Yeah, because I don't. Have, those aren't mine, so I need to. that happen. But look what you did. You hit Annabelle's orange ball oh and sent it around the no. green rail. Yes! Alright, so <laughs> Faith okay. stepped in All and right. helped Annabelle. I'm going to fix that problem. <laughs> Are you? No. Are you? No. Well, she tried, no. but she didn't make it. But, okay. yeah, it's scorable. Uh, it's, uh, all right, Annabelle, you have Shot. Your shot. <laughs> Actually, you do have a card with a green. Um, objective, but you need the uh, other that aren't covered at all. Oh, no, Dad! 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 Dad. No. Dad. No. Dad. <laughs> okay, so Dad's done. Dad, you don't want to, you don't want to uh, do a mulligan, or you're gonna? 
No, you satisfied, satisfied with that? I'm way satisfied. Okay. So All I right. I only have one on the rail. So we'll start with Juliet. Juliet, you scored what? You had the. Uh, <laughs> you you <laughs> had the purple. Okay, so you scored one point. So we'll go ahead and put your uh, yellow desk on the one. Or sorry, your desk. Okay, Juliet, in your score, what did you get? Your Annabelle. I'm sorry, um, Annabelle. So terrible. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this is on the green rail, and then it's also on this white line. Yeah. So I guess it'll be. Green rail. Okay. Uh, so uh, I got two three pointers and then one one pointer, so that'll be seven. Okay, very good. Seven, but you didn't complete an objective. So. Yeah. So, Dad. I did complete an objective. Even I though it's just one, one ball. One ball, but I got this one, this, this one, one, and this one. But yeah. since only one of them is my color, I'll get uh, three points for that. And then three points since I'm on the green rail, so a total of six points. So, Dad for six. Okay, so everybody has scored. So, they take their bunch of balls back. And everybody, uh, we repeat, but this time we're going to be shooting from zone two. Uh, the I'm going to turn in this objective card and get a new one. Okay, because he completed an objective card, he gets another one. And we don't change the turn order. Uh, Juliet is going to fire again. <laughs> Hope you make it. Yes! All right. Wait, no, that's... No. That was a six yes! Point. Yeah, that's yeah. a three-pointer, so times two is six. So that was definitely worth your, your while, I hope. Okay. Uh, uh, I finished with this objective card. Okay. Oh. What? Well. All right. Yeah. More yellow again. Uh, oh well. Oh, well, you are. That works. I'm gonna go okay. for the upper red. Someone get his uh, ball for him. There you go. You can do it. You can do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah! Oh, you did it. <laughs> okay. So that was the last one. Uh, let's go ahead and score Juliet. Uh, what, you were uh, purple, so you have a red, I should say. Wait, so yeah, six in each. So 12. Right, I know, but 6 and then 8 and then multiply it by 2. 16 total. Okay, so she scores 16 points. There's Annabelle. Two, two pointers, so that's 8 plus this one. So that's 6, 8 plus 6, 14. Yes. Okay. Um, and then I have this objective card. I completed 2. I mean, my dad finished it off, so I get 6 points. Now, you don't get to double the value of the objective card, but it does add to your score. So. So she scored 20 points in one round. That's great. All right. So uh, as far as rails, I have one on the green for six, then four for this one and four for that one. So that's a total of 14. Okay. And I completed two objectives. Very nice. So uh, let's see. For this one, I only have one of them is mine. So I'll just get three points there. So that's uh, 17 points now. And then for this one, I have one... Uh, of them is mine as well, so that is another three points. So uh, for to twenty total. All right, Dad scored twenty. We would ordinarily play another round, so we play, move this back to here. We re-roll the dice so that we have three different numbers again, and then we launch from here and launch from here the same way you saw. We do final scoring, and the player with the most points wins. In the event that there's a tie, uh, there is a sudden death. Playoff and the player who is lands on the highest value rail um, by themselves, then that player is the winner. And that's Bocho Ball. It takes about 20 minutes to play uh, with three, uh, 30 minutes with four players, uh, and less than that with one or two. Thank you very much for watching this video and seeing how Bocho Ball is played. I hope you 
uh, like to take a closer look at it. Bye-bye.